Hello, everybody. I'm Dare Tebbers. This is Spin Tires. I'm not doing a Let's Play. This is your Spin Tires mod spotlight. That's not a mod. No, that's the A class. Nice little Jeep. Now, you remember the B class, right? The 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 thing that, that derpy looking blue truck. I know it's a Zill, but the blue truck that was two wheel drive and was a nightmare. Well, I've got a mod for you. Yeah, that's the B, cl B class truck now. Uh-huh. Yeah, come here, little mouse. The B-130 converted to the F-350. Is that not nice? All the rest of the trucks are looking jealously at its beautiful paint job. Oh. All right, so this is the F-350. Let's start it up. That sounds close to a power stroke. I would never rev my power stroke when I started it, but whatever. All right, we are playing on easy because I have a feeling that some of these mods are going to require us to reset things. All right, let's stop it here. Stop truck. All right, so we have our default tires and we have some tractor tires. Those nice, big, fat, beefy tires, if we so desire. I'm, I'm partial to the default. So by default, we can't haul anything, but I can put in a gooseneck hitch. So there's my goose hitch right there. So that allows me to put on a gooseneck trailer. Let's go ahead and put the trailer on. Put my trailer. There you go. So it lets you put on a gooseneck trailer for hauling presumably other vehicles. Or we can put on a log trailer for hauling logs. Duh. All right, so we're going to start without the trailers, but that is there. Now we can add a rear exhaust straight down there. So without it, see, there's nothing. I got this this nice exhaust here. Or we can put on a pair of stacks. Look at that. Or we can put on the second pair of stacks, which are just the straight stacks. Nice, huh? Yeah, we'll come back for you, log trailer. All right, let's drop that off. Okay. Nice black smoke pouring out of there. The truck works really nice, I have found. Because I have played around with it a little bit to make sure it would sort of work. It works great as a scout vehicle. Turn it down a little bit. It works great as a scout vehicle. Um, you know, the A-Class, the little A-Class Jeep is a great little Jeep. But, you know, it easily gets bogged down. It's just not, it's not the best, let's say it that way. But this guy, well... It seems to handle things pretty darn well. I did actually fully submerge this truck at one point and it seemed to, to handle it pretty well. I love the mud effects, got all that mud. Yeah. Now when you do have a wreck, let's see if we can find a tree. When you do have a, a good, powerful wreck, you will do some damage to the front of the truck. Look at that. Aw, oh, I broke it. It's got Plenty of headlights for you to use if you are the type of person that uses them. So it looks really good. I mean, there are some, some issues with the tires flipping through the bodywork on the back, but, you know, I'm willing to forgive that, really. Because it's, it's overall a really nice looking truck. Let's, uh, let's put some trailers on it. Go, let's put the gooseneck on. Position my truck properly. Fine. Are you happy now? Yes. All right. So now we got a gooseneck. What can we do with this gooseneck? Let's see. Legs. Le legs. I have no idea what that is. Open ramp. Oop. Open ramp. Uh huh. Legs. Okay, dokie. All right, let's, uh, this ramp doesn't quite go down to the ground. That's kind of a problem. All right, let's pull it over here and see what we can do about that. We'll pull the A-class, or actually, should we pull the E-class? Heck, why not? Or a little bit more. There, parking brake. Let's, uh, now, let's not be too silly. Let's grab one of the C-classes. 
this one works because it's the one I clicked on. All right, let's go get on here. Now, of course, I... What was that? Stop being silly. Uh, I did note that there was a winch point on the trailer itself, so I guess theoretically we could winch something on here. Go. Really? Really? Is that too much? I guess I don't really have much of a clearance there down, do I? All right, fine. Let's turn this guy around. We got all the clearances in the back, I hope. I don't think so. Who said? Whoa, hey, trailer, what in the world are you doing over there? Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> don't know what the trailer's doing, but... Oh, camera. Whoa, trailer, stop it. I'm trying to get on you. There we go. All right. Oh, we're going to fall off. Let's try Let's try to rectify that. Now, theoretically, then, you could winch something on here. There, straight back. Parking brake on. Stop that engine. Now get back in this truck. Uh, okay, start the engine. Duh. It's like, wait, I can only detach the trailer. Ugh. Legs, ramp. Okay. Now. Yeah. I'm going to haul this guy around. So you can rescue trucks that have uh, run out of fuel. Look at that. Or been seriously damaged. All right, so you got a rescue rig now. It's like rescue rangers. <laughs> it does have that weird jumpy trailer behavior, but whatever. Yeah, we can just haul this guy right up here. Haul him back to the garage where he belongs. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, now I need to uh, drop that. Change to this. Aha, see, you changed to it. It fuels up. Perfect. How perfect. All right, let's get off of here. Woo. Bunk. A <laughs> little bit of damage, but yeah, I did drive off there like a gibbon. Okay, now I'm going to put this guy away. And then we'll go and load up some logs. All right, let's uh, get rid of that. Put that on. Position my truck properly. Yeah. Okay. Can be happy with me over here, maybe? Is that better? No. Okay. Nope, that's the stacks. There we go. All right. Oh, really? Trailer, what are you doing? Why are you? Okay, uh, let's get that off of there. Good log trailer. Okay. Now let's tr let's turn this thing around. Uh, log trailer might be a problem. Okay. There. Will you let me have the log trailer now. You will. How's the log trailer look? It looks okay. All right. Let's drive with it. All right. We got a log trailer. Go get some logs. We'll be back when we have some logs. Or when we're ready to get some logs. Woohoo! Look at us rocking and rolling with our log trailer. <laughs> Actually, it's really good articulation of those wheels. It looks really good. 
And look at that. I mean, somebody spent some time checking articulation of that uh, front axle. Driving a little bit giving me, but I can't really see where I'm going, so I'm just guessing. Whoops, sploosh. All right, we're here already. Let's check out some speed. All right, let's get ourselves some logs. I am still in two-wheel drive mode, by the way. This thing has some pretty darn good power for two-wheel drive. All right, we're here. Medium logs, position your truck properly. I love this, by the way. Position your truck properly, arrow, what? All right, what else? There? No? All right, fine. There? No. Ah. Okay. Let's get around here. I do like it is truly more of a gooseneck than the, uh, I can't see a bloody thing I'm doing. There we go. It is more of a gooseneck than the, um, the log trailers you get in game means you have a little bit added maneuverability. There. No. Ugh. All right, apparently it has to be perfectly flat, so let's try for a flat surface here. <laughs> yeah, a flat surface, really, Dare? Yeah, well, oh, this looks good. All right. Let's get the trailer up on that, and that should level us out. All right. Or is that flat enough? Is that good? You like that? No, you don't. Okay, well. Let's back this up. Okay, come on, truck. I do like this truck as like a scout for sure. I think it's a huge improvement over the A-Class truck. Uh, it's a massive improvement over the B truck. <laughs> like. The in-game Zill is just like, wow, really? All right, how about that? Can I load that? No. Why not? Uh, reasons. Oh, because I have the parking brake on. I can't move. Okay. There? No. How about there? Does that work for you? No? No. How about there? No? All right. There? Holy crap! Could you tell me more than just... Position your truck properly? How about that? No. No. Aha! We got it! Logs, medium, F-350, load! All right. Now we can go for a drive with our logs. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I'm really sad that worked. I did, I'm testing these mods out a little bit more than I do with my other mod spotlights. And I actually went and loaded the logs on this truck in that exact spot or close to that exact spot. And it actually caused a truck, the, the bounce of the, the logs being added caused the truck to start oscillating and shot off into space and then crashed down in the middle of the woods. And I was like, oh, I wish I had that on camera, but I didn't because well, a lot of you guys get upset because I do some crap mods. So I was like, well, let me let me actually vet these mods better. And now I'm like, well, maybe I shouldn't vet these mods at all. So there you go. If you don't want me to vet the mods, let me know. But it will mean you'll get some crap mods. But this one is pretty good. Yes, it had one problem that I've encountered so far. You saw it jumping with that flatbed trailer. I think there's a problem with detection of various trailer parts but it's a pretty good looking mod overall. And you know what's even better? It actually looks like it has a winch. I know all of you angry about the, the simulator game review. Yeah, none of those trucks look like they had a winch. This one actually has one. Look at that, big old winch. Now, one thing I did note though is that the tow, the, the tow knuckles on the front is not what you hook up to if you're going to haul this truck. You actually do hook up to the winch, which is fine, but that's what the tow knuckles are for. 
still. Pretty good. Pretty nice truck. We're going to go and try to, uh, to ford the river on this map, because as some of you know, that river is kind of deep and steep on the other side. Hopefully we can get there before dark, but maybe not. I won't make you guys watch me slog this truck slowly through all of this gubbinry. So we'll be back when uh, something happens. All right, here we are climbing through this. This is that first slog coming off that garage there. This truck just deals with it. Look at that. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to use the winch uh, or not because the truck is just gonna slog. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, nope, she's still going. Look at that. Oh yeah, muddy pig truck now, but that's all right. Look at that, slogged right through that. Some of those C-class trucks get stuck in that, so it's pretty good. That's gonna get worse as we go through these mud spotlights because basically I'm gonna reuse the same map. Um, so that'll slowly get terrible, but you know, whatever. All right, here we are coming up to the Ford. Ha ah, with the Ford. We're going to Ford the Ford with the Ford. Go with that. All right. Let's head in. Now, this is the worst for a lot of the early game vehicles because they get down there and they can't get back out. Let's see what we can do. Oh, look at that. This truck is like, psh, here. I'll pull this out. Oh, and then I'm going to get stuck like this. Really? Weasel around truck. Oh, there we go. Yeah, weasel at truck. Weasel truck. There, look at that. Truck says, Psh, with your winch. I'll just tug it out. <laughs> Ew, slimy, messy truck. It's going to be a fun truck to clean. Fun truck to clean. Actually, you just drive it in the river. That'll clean it out. All right, so we've done that much. Now we're going to see, because some people have said, you know what, these mods are great, except for they don't actually let you do anything. So we're going to deliver our load, and hopefully, hopefully, it'll count. We, we forded a great river with our truck. Now we're going to see if we can actually complete the game tasks with our truck. So we're heading for one of our objective points here in this map and when we get closer or when we have a terrible crash we'll be back we're just gonna fly at top speed down this road in the meantime now I'm gonna go ahead and say I've been driving this truck through this mud here now I remember the first time I tried to, to complete this map the big C-class trucks with the medium logs struggled I actually went and had to go get the big E-Class grain truck to finally tow the C-Class with their medium logs through this stuff. This Ford is just bulldogging its way through. Just absolutely bulldogging it. That is pretty darn cool. I mean, it doesn't have all of the goodies that you get with the in-game trucks. I mean, you can't deal with, like, garages unlocking that garage for instance you don't have the repair stuff that's fine if this actually delivers we'll have a mod that replaces a truck that space rock uh that uh doesn't do a very good job i mean the b trucks whoa those things are difficult to deal with there is an achievement by the way if you actually complete an entire objective with the b class trucks Last time I checked, 0.7% of owners' spin tires had that achievement. I've got that achievement. I hate the B-Class truck that comes in the game. I hate the Zill. But we're going to see if this thing is a great replacement. And right now, I'm going to say, yes, it's a great replacement. If we can actually deliver logs, we have a fully functional Scout truck and jumpy jumping rocks. No, we have a fully functioning Scout truck and delivery rig all in one and some of the maps of course you just start with a few bees uh, I think it's the hill map 
where you start with uh, a couple of B-class trucks. Well, shoot, at that rate, you got this thing, is it's going to just win. I don't know if this multiplayer capable, but, you know, whatevs, right? Let me deliver. Aha! Yeah! Woo! We have a fully functioning mod that delivers logs. Yay! We can also rescue things with its other trailer, if we so desire. There we go. Parking brake on. Good. Uh, we can rescue things with its other trailer, which is awesome. And it has... All the other goodies. Let's uh, let's even like to say uh, there, to there. We we can tip ourselves almost over. Turn truck there. <laughs> we. I just noticed you could you are hooking to the knuckles. Okay, that's weird. No, don't make it hook to the knuckles. It's right. That's the winch right there. Okay. Oh, that's that's enough complaining. Legs. Legs? Oh, these legs work. Ah, so then I can detach it. Look at that. Uh-huh. How many of you have ever uh, wanted to detach your trailer and just drive away? Yeah, we can do it. Now can I attach it? Uh, yes, I can. Woohoo! Look at that. So we have an awesome fully functioning mod replaces the B class with a Ford F-350. The link to this mod is in the description as always. If you enjoyed this mod spotlight or you really like this truck, well, let me know. Just let me know if you want uh, me to vet these mods before we do them or not. Until next time, I'm Derek Tabbers. This has been Tires. This has been your mod review of the F-350 Brute. It's a lot like the 350 I used to have. Till next time, happy mudding, everybody.